What's kicking chicken? It's Marina. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. First off, let me start off by saying today's video is a brain mess. Like the cinematics of it all um, don't flow very well. Basically, I'm scatterbrained. I think I think that I know what I'm talking about, but I really don't. I just want to prepare you in advance and also I just want to say that mental health matters and if you're going through something, let someone know. Like seriously, it's really cool to you know, have people there that you can trust and be open with. That's the purpose of this video. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, and yeah, please enjoy it because it's literally a mess. Like I tried so hard to make this masterpiece and it kind of was boo-boo, but that's okay. Um, you'll see why. Uh, yep, okay, enjoy. What's kicking chicken? It's Marina. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I am a freshman in college, currently playing D1 volleyball in Texas and um, I'm going through a midlife crisis. I don't, I don't know if you could consider my freshman year midlife crisis a midlife crisis, but I'm gonna show you how I'm getting through it. Now, I've always been young at heart, late bloomer, like all that stuff. I just don't feel like I've experienced life how other people at my age have experienced it, which is okay, like, take your time, do what you need to do, girl. Like, I understand this personally, but the thing that I'm noticing is that my, like, the people around me, my family members, they're getting older, like, it's just, how am I responding to the reactions and the change around me is kind of showing the maturing that I've gone through in, like, literally a year or so. So I just wanted to say, um, growing up is very hard and that's okay because, you know, we just gotta all get through it. We all grow old. So my biggest takeaway from this is kind of like, how am I growing independently while still making sure I'm the best self for my friends and my family? And one step that I've been definitely taking to like sort of reach this goal in adulthood because I'm 18, is independence and how I'm taking that on. And currently, I have struggled with independence like so long. One, because I'm an only child, never had any siblings, and two, my mom is a single mom. Like, there's only me and her. So I've been very codependent my whole life, and once I got to college, I realized like, dang, I can do a lot of things that I thought I couldn't. So in trying to be independent, I've done these things recently where I take myself on little dates and I go to a different part of my city, kind of check it out, see what's down there, like get myself some good food, see some good sights. And I just wanted to share two little like vlog pieces of how I've kind of been, you know, racing towards independence head on. And uh, yeah, here they are, enjoy. Today is, one second. Day. So, to celebrate St. Patrick's Day um, and having very limited knowledge of people in the area, um, I'm going to go to the Houston Museum of Natural Science and Art to treat myself today. I'm also just going to be taking a, you know, by myself, independent girly pop date all by myself. I'm taking on the big city and I'm going to bring you along with me because i got to have someone to talk to, I guess. So now I'm currently in my car preparing for takeoff and I just wanted to share my go-to road trip snacks. It's only a 30 minute drive. Well, a little bit longer than that, but I'm gonna share my go-to snacks for any road trip and I think that everyone needs to have at least two. So that's why I have brought my two favorite go-to snacks for this trip. Number one, we have a Go Macro Bar. And I decided to be a little bit, you know, adventurous. I decided to try the dark chocolate plus almonds Snack two is uh, the Sun Chip Salsa Garden, Garden Salsa Chip. So that's my two go-to snacks for this road trip. I'm going to be putting them in my tiny purse. And uh, yeah, let's bump some jams. I am back from the museum. It was a very fun experience. Um, a little different being alone. I've never done anything like that. Drove an hour by myself to 
hang out with myself all day and see all the fun things. I wanted to say that museums mean a lot to me and that's why I was so excited and like so persistent to go by myself and like experience one. Um, I hope you just saw like traveling can be very scary growing up, traveling alone on big highways like Okay, hello everyone. It's been a few weeks since I filmed this video and while I was editing I realized like I don't know what I'm talking about. Like I, I do understand some of the points that I'm making are good and fresh and fun and yes I'm still discovering independence by myself working it out with people but I don't think that I have enough real life examples to be able to speak on how I'm improving so much in life because um, I'm kind of just coasting through it like a little slow boat ride. So I think that instead of saying, you know, how much I'm improved and throwing that little vlog in there, you know, that was pretty goofy, um, that I'm gonna focus more on what I can do as steps to take to reach my goals. And basically that's gonna start with journaling, which is kind of like crazy. It's like, okay, we've all been writing in diaries since we were really young, but, um, this is more reflective self journey wise, like writing down where I started, where I'm coming. Um, because just saying that I went on two car rides has been enough. Um, that's definitely not it. You know, you're always gonna have those like FOMO days when your friends are hanging out, you're not invited, like that kind of stuff. So just write down how I'm feeling, what I'm going through. It's gonna be much more productive than this video has been thus far. Sorry to disappoint. You know, one day I will be able to show an entire journey going through like high school, college, but right now I really have no idea what I'm talking about. So that's my kind of take. Um, sorry if you were really enjoying the video. Um, I did have extra parts, you know, where I, I talked about like my goals from 2022 and how I've done thus far. Um, but I just thought, you know, it's really boring and if I'm gonna do that, might as well make like a fun little mood board. I am going to be making an inspo board or mood board for my nasty 19, my last year as a teenager. I'm going to make that video soon, so you better be ready for that. But I really just, I could not sit here and edit it and tell myself like, oh, this is a, vid this is a good video. Like, you are changing your life. Because I don't live by that right now. That's kind of a little more realistic life update. Uh, sorry it had to come in this form and not like a fun video montage documentary. Um, another thing about that. Sorry, I'm just going on a little ramble, but I just don't think that I have the cinematography excellence that other creators seem to naturally get. Or maybe I have these ideas, but like I'm too lazy to actually execute them. So I'm hoping that I can put more effort, oh, there's my dog, more effort and time into some of my more cinematic video ideas, which are like not that crazy, but like I want to take a step towards more artistic expression through my videos. So that's what I'll be working on. I really hope you understand. Thank you so much for watching, staying. Hope you enjoyed the first part a little bit. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, see you later.